Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis from Vision 33. Today's topic is going to be what's new in SAP Business One. And our good friend Mike White is going to come back and join us in Wednesday Web Chat and take us on a little tour of some of these things. It's uh, always a good idea to stay up to date with what's happening in the product that we, we all live our lives around, so it seems. So Mike, uh, with that, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Welcome back to Wednesday Web Chat. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, what's new. Great. Thank you, Carl. All right. Well, we've got a lot uh, packed into a short amount of time, so I'm going to go pretty quickly. All right. So to get things started, as Carl had mentioned, we are on the latest uh, FP2202 feature pack, and we're going to take a look at some of the newest features that have just come out. So to get the ball started, let's start out by jumping into the web client. And let's take a look at some of the new functionality that's now available um, in the web client. Okay, now the web client's been around for a while, but every release of SAP, it becomes more and more, more and more powerful, more and more usable. Um, it's at a point now where I can see a lot of folks uh, are beginning to use the web client. Now, some of the things that SAP has added into the web client one of those is the approval decisions. And uh, we're gonna also take a look at the approval decisions report uh, inside the uh, traditional SAP client as well. Now, like any report in the uh, uh, web client, in fact, let me go back here, like any of these tiles that I click on, uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring me to a view of my data that I've got three different views, the three different choices of how I wanna view my data. Now the approval decisions report, uh, this is a new report and it's available in the web client. Of course, you've got some tiles here. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking at a record count or how many approvals are going through on a daily by daily basis. And then I can see over here, uh, what's the, uh, the, the dollar amount of those documents that are in the approval process. I can switch to a graph here, which basically just shows me a record count of approvals. But again, I can tailor that change that information. And then lastly, I get to my report. This is my grid report that shows me all my approvals. Now I can come in here and say, just show me my rejected approvals. Uh, I just wanna focus on those. In that case, there weren't any or any pending. Do I have any rejected or pending approvals that I need to deal with? In this case here, I've got one, I've got a purchase order that's pending approval. And so what we're able to do then from here is we're able to drill down into those approvals and uh, process those approvals now through the web client. And that's something that we didn't have the ability to do uh, prior to this release. So the approval decisions report, brand new report. And of course, uh, just to show you, if you wanna add that report as a tile into your workspace, uh, it's real simple. You just go in, you edit your home page, and then you click the plus symbol. That takes you into the widget gallery where you can go in and, and add uh, you know, any of the, uh, the tiles um, that you need to add that makes sense for your, your role in the company. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's uh, exit out of edit mode. And let's take a look at another uh, feature that's been added into the, uh, into the web client. Um, let's, let's take a look at the attachments capability now. SAP has added attachments capability in the web client. So what we're going to do is let's jump into um, how about sales quotes. Let's go out and look at our sales quotes here. So these are my sales quotes. Again, you see those three views, a card view, which I haven't created any cards yet, a graph view, and then finally my data here. 